Hey podcasters, how are you guys doing? This is Jorge from the Big Band Podcast. I'm here with Adrian. And today's episode will be about genetic engineering. Uh, specifically the question, given the chance, would you modify the appearance of your unborn child? <laughs> now, I don't have children. <laughs> and I, my, my answer to that question is yes. What is your response? Because you do have a, the daughter. <laughs> so you've been there before. You're talking about... Uh, physically or well, everything? Well, it's like specifically that the technology we're talking about here is, is generic engineering is called CRISPR Cas9 and basically how it works is uh, scientists now have the the ability to go in and replace certain genes and to modify them. So um, there's various things that you can you can decide you know in terms of like intelligence, the, the color of the, the color of the skin, the color of their eyes. Um, <laughs> it's kind of, it's not, it's not full blown X-Men, <laughs> but, um, very close to it. I mean, the height, you know, things of that nature. <laughs> hmm. Um, <laughs> it's funny, no? But it's true. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the, the, you know, in the UK, they've, they've recently, you know, the, the government has accepted that now they are you know, scientists will be able to, to you know, to, to work with em directly with embryos. Um, so that's the first country to, to, do, to actually try to fucking do that shit. Um, <laughs> so, but, but yeah, that's, that's really what it means. Um, that, that's, that's, um, that's what we're looking at, you know, in terms of what we can modify. <laughs> wow, it's so much, um, it's so much information to process. I mean, I mean, look, listen, if you, if you look at the, because this thing's been going on for years now, but probably like a decade. Okay, quick question. How much does it cost? Oh, there's no cost yet because no, nobody's, I mean, it's not, we're probably like 10 years from, from that point where, you know, it becomes something more that you say, hey, I want to, I want to design my own baby, <laughs> you know? on demand something like that right now we're still like like in testing phases so there's nothing unless you're very wealthy you might might you know put, put some money on there to do that but most likely not <laughs> they won't let you still but um yeah that's the future we're looking at and it's very hard to say whether or not you know we're not headed that way we are <laughs> we are so so i'm looking at here at the web website and it says that the traits that could be changed in a designer baby is the gender, the appearance, the intelligence, the disease, and the personality. Now, the number one reason... Well, the gender. Yeah. Now, the number one reason why this is, is such a big deal, and we got to look at it from two, two, two perspectives. Number can I, one... Can I see that? The yeah. List. Number one is from the, the, the science perspective in terms of medicine. So, the, the, the fundamental reason why medicine exists is to prevent you know, disease, Yeah. right? So with this capability, we have the, we have the, the option of saying, you know what, I want my child to be completely immune to these diseases. <laughs> and that's the reason, one the bigger reason why to do it. But we have all these other options to also modify if we choose to, <laughs> right? <laughs> so when, when, I, when people ask me, would you, you know, if you have the option of changing anything about your unborn child, Obviously, I would say, well, I want to protect them against diseases, like having your computer, right? I want an antivirus there. <laughs> I don't want, you know, I don't want, I want to make sure there's nothing that could potentially happen to my child in the future. But what other, if, if other options are open to me, man, I mean, my imagination will go wild. <laughs> yeah, but then you're just making like a little robot thing. Kind I, of I, I, yeah, no, it'd be like, it'd be like, like, um, Dropping parenting. <laughs> because here's the other thing. So so right now we're in the in the in the beginning stage, but uh, there's also the thing where we could we could create babies without having sex. All we need are the cells. So, you know we The just, world will never go for that. I know, I know, but that's the option. <laughs> that's the option. <laughs> you know what I mean? No need to anything. Just uh, just give me your cells and we'll modify that. 
and then you will, we put the cells back into the womb, you know, to, and then, you know, off you go. <laughs> wow. It's, it... That's, that's the future. That's not so, you know, 10 years from now, but that would be eventually what would happen <laughs> on demand. Like, like, it's like a factory. The first thing <laughs> that comes to mind is this. How much is it going to cost? If it's going to cost. If it costs money, then only rich people will be able to have yeah. like perfect offspring. And that will... The most likely, rich people will be the first ones to do it. Yeah, and that will tip the balance even more to their favor. So eventually, all the poor people are going to die because they, <laughs> they won't be able to compete with the, with the, with the perfect human. They won't. They will die from diseases. They will die from a lot of things. They, they won't be able to get jobs because the perfect humans are have uh, more intelligence. Yeah. So, 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 so the pros of these things, you know, of a designer baby is reduced risk of genetic diseases. So, uh, and, this is, and this is the important part because what they call, they call it the germline. So if they go in before... I mean, they can cut our, you know, any disease you have from your family previously, they can cut that off. <laughs> so, for example, in my family, um, there is a lot of, of a lot of uh, heart attacks. So I could potentially have a heart attack at some point in my life. It's a, it's a known fact in my family. So that could be eliminated. <laughs> you know, things of that nature. Other other pros are reduced risk of inherited medical conditions. Keeping pace of with others doing it, better chance the child will succeed in life, better understanding of genetics, that's the science part, increased lifespan, yeah, because you can increase people's lifespan, <laughs> aging and stuff, can give a child genes that parents do not carry, and prevent next generation of family from getting characteristic diseases. Um, now, the, the, the cons, as you know, some people have, have written about this stuff, is the termination of embryos, could create a gap in society, Possibility of damage to the gene pool. Baby has no choice in the matter, so, you know, <laughs> they have no decision. Genes often have more than one use. Gen geneticists are not perfect. <laughs> Loss of individuality. Um, other children and family could be affected by the parent's decision, and only the rich can afford it. Um, <laughs> but, you know, I'm okay with the whole disease part. <laughs> yeah, but It's the other stuff that still, you know... I would sit, have to sit, sit down and think about it. <laughs> because it's, it's like, I, like I said, if, if the poor people can afford it, they'll eventually die. And then everyone's going to be like, I mean, how it says right there in the list that uh, loss of individuality. Yeah. And yeah, because how many templates are these guys going to have, you know? If, yeah. If, okay, we're going to make this <laughs> baby smarter on, and more charismatic. I want my baby to look like Brad Pitt, right? That's what Pitt is going to say. Yeah, but I mean, if, if let, let, I think we need to establish like a system of, okay, so you want your baby smarter, how smarter do you want him? From 1 to 100. Let's yeah. say 50. And if 10 babies, um, 10 parents of the babies choose 50 in smart, are those kids going to be like uh, equally smart and test the same on everything? Or will the, the, yeah. the place they grow up in uh, affect that a little or a lot? And if, <laughs> what's the saying? If, if everyone has special powers, no one has. I think that eventually that's going to happen. It's going to, everyone who does, can't afford this, it's going to die. And the <laughs> smart, charismatic people are going to rule the world. But then everyone's going to be the same. Or they're going to keep upping it every generation yeah but it's, i think it's just gonna well it's 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 a matter of um you know because one of the big things here is that you cannot you know if, if i would have the capability to devise <laughs> my unborn child what do i mean by that basically eliminate human stupidity <laughs> because people are biased and more biased when they're in a group we're all like look alike and think alike so for me you can't, you can't, you can't, you know, codify how, because being smart is one thing. 
I mean, so a lot of people don't understand what smart being, you know, what smart is. They think IQ is smart. IQ is, IQ really means how, how much complexity can you deal with. It doesn't mean how much you know. Not, most people do not have a huge, big IQ simply because they cannot focus on many things at, at once or connect multiple dots or manage too much information in their heads. Um, they might know a lot of stuff, but get, they get shocked when it's, you know, too much. So, so I mean, it, that's as specific as you can go in terms of intelligence. But for me, it's being smart is having criteria, <laughs> being aware. <laughs> And those are the things that you can't modify in your unborn child. Those are the things that we have to impart on them as parents. So it's, to a certain degree, we still have that capability to influence that. <laughs> you know, because it's, it's not about, um, it's, it, 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 it's, you know, when you modify a gene, doesn't mean they're going to take your attitude. I mean, it's very different. Like you, you are you alike like your father in some way? Mm, I mean, we're all no. alike to our, like our parents in some way, but... Yeah. But we, at some point, we decide, you know, if we're smart enough to, to say, you know what, that's not for me or whatever. You know, we develop our own ideas and our own individuality. We start, you know, pushing against it. Like, for example, my, my blood father, um, and I know this, I mean, I, I only lived with him for four years. So I really didn't get to know him. But my, my uncles and my aunt and you know, any, anybody who, who actually knew him say that I was, I'm very much like him. And I say, in what ways? Well, you know, certain traits. But it's not completely like them, <laughs> you know. So there's the the, the the part of attitude is the part that you can't modify, because that's the thing that you build. So even the, even though you might be pretty, you might be this and that. I mean, I mean, you know it. We can we can watch pretty girls outside, and it doesn't mean we're gonna fall for that. <laughs> it's superficial. At the end of the day, you know, something inside there has to, you know, connect with you. <laughs> yep. So. I think, I think um, you know, discussion has been, you know, this discussion online in various places about, you know, the designer babies has focused too much on the superficial aspects of this thing. Um, but yeah, because it, it has a lot of, you know, pull um, in our, you know, modern society. But at the end of the day, um, you st we still, as parents, or you as a parent, I'm not a parent, but we still have that option to you know, impart wisdom on our children <laughs> beyond their looks. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's very simple. I mean, you have, if you have a, um, a child who's very pretty or very, you know, handsome, does that change how you, um, you know, the, 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 the ideas you impart on them? I mean, I don't think it does. <laughs> mm, maybe in the sense that, I mean, eventually, there's gonna be bullying in school, and it. it I mean, it's okay. The 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 one who does the bullying might be insecure. The one who's being bullied might be smart. So, I think it. How you explain things to them will vary, depending on on. I mean, if if for example, if they're more attractive and they're being bullies to people who are not attractive just because they are insecure, I need to talk to her and tell her, you know what, don't be a bully just because you can, blah, 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 blah. But if she's the one being bullied, it's another another talk. And I think that those two talks are going to be way different. So I think it does matter in that sense because if you have a, a very smart kid, odds are they're, they're going to get bullied because they're very smart in school. That's like normal yeah so for example if i'm like oh i want my kid to be smart so i'm gonna make him smarter and i want him to be more attractive because uh i'm not attractive and like you want for him or her what you didn't have or think you didn't have yeah so you give them to them but then you won't be able to uh, help them out when a problem comes up because you, you didn't go through that so how are you gonna be able to to help them without you being able to, to if, if you didn't go through that in, in, in your school days, per se. So I think it's, it's because right now, the, the parenting in this generation is very different from like our yeah. parents' generation. Yeah. This generation is, a lot of them have spoiled kids because they want to buy them all the things that their parents couldn't afford. So 
uh, we give them everything we can so they have a better childhood than we did. But in doing that, we're fucking them up. And the next generation is going to be worse if we keep doing that. But I mean, we're going to keep doing that. I used to do that, but not anymore. I, I realized that, I mean, yeah, I, I wanted a lot of stuff. I couldn't have it. And I mean, that creates some sort of restriction for them. They know that, okay, if I want something, I gotta earn it. I'm just gonna have it because I, I want it and because I'm, I'm the, the boss here and yeah. I have two adults who do whatever I want. So, I mean, it, it's that's why I have like a lot of things going on in my head about modifying your kid because it's, it, I don't think a lot of people are prepared no. to deal with like a, a near perfect kid or a perfect no. kid. And, 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 you know, the most, most of the uh, surveys online, you know, when it pose, pose this question is like 75% do, do not agree with this. And then 25 who do, um, most, 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 tor you know, the ones who disagree with this lean towards, you know, uh, nature, right? Mm -hmm. So letting nature do its work. Um, the ones who, who, you know, who are most towards, yeah, I agree. I want to make a designer baby or whatever are in the, in the camp of, um, listen, <laughs> we have a responsibility to make our children better. Um, <laughs> uh, and we have the option. Why not do it? <laughs> yeah. But you got to make them, I mean, it's natural selection. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and in my case, I'm, I'm, I don't have a child, but you know, if, Hopefully, I, I, I do <laughs> at some point. I want to, but not to when, when I have this option because it's going to be very difficult for me. You know, I mean, if <laughs> I'm going to be kind of like in the middle of it. Like, yeah. Like if, if, like if you put, if you say, listen, <laughs> if you can create your own Ferrari, <laughs> just, and, just be, and, and not because I'm, I'm against natural selection, I'm, I'm very much in, 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 into that, but it's a new, different world. <laughs> We're heading to a different world. Um, the the first thing that I would you know definitely say yes is you know, to, to cut down the diseases. That's number one. But if you have like this option and you're like, God damn, listen, can I um up this one right here a little bit? <laughs> it's kind of like like video games, like like creating your own yeah, player. Yeah, like an RPG. It's ridiculous. Stuff. Just out of cu curiosity, I would be very very. Um, but here's the thing. That's a great example when you play an RPG. <laughs> You pick your, your character, you design him every, physically, and then you go to the attribute screen, and you're <laughs> like, okay, I want him to have charisma, but yeah. you have a certain amount of points. And here's what always happens to me, and I think a lot of people go through this, but when you create your first um, character, and you start playing, you're like, hmm, there's no need for fucking charisma according to my play style, so I gotta reroll the character. And try something else, and then reroll and try something else yeah. until I find something that suits my playing ability. In this case, my parenting ability. <laughs> so I mean, I think that's gonna be a problem, and, and and it's not like oh my god, my kid is so smart, he's driving me crazy, he's doing my taxes, and he's only five years old, and he's telling me how to manage my <laughs> how, money, and how to his, run my life. <laughs> yeah, and he's right, and oh my, I can't live with this. I mean, imagine that only five years old, and he's like. He has everything scheduled for you, and and you can spend more than this. I'm taking your credit card away because you, you're stupid, Dad. You're stupid. I'm gonna bring us out of the. the... Why are you spending our money like this? Yeah, <laughs> you, you don't need the. Black... Imagine that. I mean, what are you gonna do? You're you... <laughs> like, oh my god, I don't want him. that smart. He's teaching me. Oh. Yeah. So 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 you know in that in that in that term, some questions that have come up is. You know who's responsible for making decisions about these designer babies? Like, like is it is it or is it gonna be regulated? Because you know if, if if people go go full blown with this, it's like an arms race. It's like it's like the previous episode we were talking about, like human enhancement. This is this is direct human enhancement before you know you're Outwitting, born. Yeah, yeah. It's 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 real. It's like, it's enhancing your genes, not your anything else. But I mean, should we set limits on how we enhance ourselves? <laughs> We could, but eventually someone's going to be out there that's going to be like, I don't want no fucking limits. I'm going to pay yeah. you $1 million extra to go over the intelligent limit. I want my son to be the smartest man yeah. in the world. 
but sir, if someone's paying me $2 million to do that with their baby, I'll pay you four. Yeah, now, now, now imagine if, I mean, because I mean, this is more of a scientific question, but I mean, there's, there's animals who have excellent hearing, right? Mm -hmm. Now, is that a genetic trait of the animal? Because, you know, there's, there's, you know how there's, even in Tijuana, we have a fucking, a fucking crazy motherfucker who's, who, who, who breeds animals with, you know, combines animals, right? Yeah. Um, I'm not really sure, I'm, I haven't researched this, but what happens if we can, you know, take, I don't know, the hearing of an owl <laughs> or the, the, the eyesight of an owl, the capability of an eyesight of an owl, and then put that into your designer baby, and then th does your designer baby have that gene in them <laughs> where they can have that type of eyesight? It's like mutation. Let's say, <laughs> let's say he does, okay? Let's say he can grab <laughs> traits from animals and put them into your unborn son, your daughter. <laughs> Here's the thing. We might think, okay, it would be awesome if I had, like, the hearing of a cat. I could hear shit. Yeah, yeah. But it's it's too much. It's, you won't be able to turn it off. You'll be hearing people from three houses away talking, and you won't be able to yeah, turn I it off. I think all this shit happens uh, for a reason. Like It's evolution. It's Imagine there's a clear example in Jurassic World with the, with the what's the name of the... Tyrannosaurus. Oh, yeah, yeah. The, yeah. I mean, it's they, a combination of. Yeah, uh, they, like they mix like everything in the. T Rex with something other animals. Something incredibly. Velociraptors. Deadly. And I mean, whatnot. there's a reason why cats can see in the night and <laughs> I don't know, like some other animals can't because, I mean, imagine like a, like a perfect animal that killer instinct, uh, amazing claws, uh, can see in the night, can hear perfectly, <laughs> doesn't need to sleep. Can walk on wall. I mean, oh, yeah. <laughs> like the eagle. The eagle has pinpoint accuracy yeah. when he grabs something. Imagine, no, it, it's, it's it's just watch Jurassic World and you'll see what happens. <laughs> that's that's our future if we modify everything. <laughs> Imagine that. Imagine, yeah. I mean, I think we have limits for a reason. Well, and then the science part of me says, fucking try that shit. Yeah. In a lab, don't set it free. But if, it, if the movies are an indication it's going to break free, it's going to be hell to pay. But, I mean, also the, the a, a good thing for the modified babies, I think, would be, like, uh, making them soldiers. <laughs> like, not, not just breed them for that sense. They're going to be soldiers. They're going to be, fuck charisma. I don't need charisma. Intelligence. No diseases. Um... Let's say uh, anthrax doesn't work on them, like all that shit, you know, and, and create them for that purpose. That would be amazing. But they're kind; they would be kind of like uh, like robots, or 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 I mean, it's, they're bred for a reason. They'd be they'd be um, how do you say, the 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 counter or the the counter to uh, organic, would be like plastic. Yeah. <laughs> They won't need to sleep. They're just gonna be there, folding their clothes and training and getting bigger and better. Yeah. And now imagine that—that's your kid. What if? Okay, let's say these guys are gonna be bred for war. How about your kid? What's he gonna be bred for? What's he gonna be? Oh, that's the other for? thing because it's it's like, I mean, what what if like for example, oh shit, I want my kid to to be a musician, but he comes out and he doesn't want to be a freaking musician. He wants to be a freaking lawyer. He's like charismatic. You said, but yeah, but I decided he wants. I decided I I, I I modified his gene so he has more artistic capability than being a freaking you know paper pusher, <laughs> and then it decides he's, he doesn't want because you can modify his behavior. You you can modify his traits. <laughs> I'm gonna be a lawyer, Dad, in a musical. <laughs> Yeah, that that gets um, it gets tricky. So um, you, you just wasted like a lot of money on traits he's not gonna use. Yeah, or maybe he's gonna be an artistic lawyer. <laughs> I mean, stronger, smarter, faster, saner, better rested, and more adaptable. <laughs> That's what we're looking at. <laughs> um, but um, I mean, it's it's insane. I mean, go for it, try it out, test it out, see what happens, see what we can create. But I think that... I mean, are there... Any, I mean, you're, you're more into the, the sci-fi stuff than I am. So are there any movies, films that have this um, 
you know, this premise where people create their own, their own, their own children? <laughs> like, uh, nothing comes to mind. I didn't see it, but I think uh, Gatica had something to Gattaca. do with that. Gattaca. Yeah, Gattaca, Gattaca had something to do with that. And, uh, I mean, there are tons of movies where they create soldiers just for the purpose of being a soldier, like the movie Soldier. And uh, just dread the yeah. movie. I, I mean, I don't know if the comics like that, but the first movie says that they were just bred for being uh, the perfect lawman. Yeah. And in Soldier, the thing is that they were also like created to be soldiers. But, and the story of the film is that they get replaced by better soldiers, like a better formula, like they, they make them better. So the other one, the other soldiers go obsolete and they just destroy them. They just kill them. Like the new soldiers kill the old one. Just mm -hmm. like, yeah, get rid of them. Except for one. You know what happens? What? That old soldier kicks all the new soldiers' butts <laughs> and saves a little town because he's a badass. And he's Kurt Russell, by the way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I'm trying to think of another film that has to do with that. Doesn't come to mind. No. Like creating but, your baby like that. But imagine, well, I'm pretty sure somebody's thinking up a film, a film or even a novel of these, you know, this type of scenario where, you know, society's next, next citizens were created. <laughs> Here's what I'm thinking right now. Okay, let's say... We're defined. Let's say, oh, we're going to make a baby and he's going to be the next president of the United States. So let's, let's make him smart. Uh, let's make him uh, be able to learn a lot of languages very easily. Let's make him charismatic. Let's make him attractive, whatever. But what if he's too smart? There, there are a few movies out there who, who smart doesn't go well with uh, uh, being sane. For example, the movie Watchmen. Have you seen it? No. I mean, the the whole plot was was of a really smart man to create war against a super being so that the actual war would stop and they would concentrate and try and attack him. Mm -hmm. So he created this war and a lot of people died, but it was for the better good. And that's because he's smart. Like there are some people who won't be that smart and are more like sentimental and will be like, no, there's got to be another way to save all these people and not do this. But if it's someone really smart, I think he's just gonna do, a, he's gonna create a lot of decisions, take a lot of decisions based on, on like the most logical way to do it. Yeah. And if that means killing one billion people to save five billion people, then he's gonna do it. Now, if, if we look at this, um, because, you know, one thing is, is, you know, designer babies, you know, in, in human engineering, engineering your own baby. And then there's the, the AI part. <laughs> would you trust AI or would you trust your unborn child, modified unborn child? <laughs> trust him to do what? You know, to rule the world. For the oh, it's going to be the same thing. Because a robot's gonna be logical, one hundred percent. Well, the, the <laughs> maybe a human, maybe you could get to him, and he won't push that button. But a robot, you won't be able to get to him. He's gonna push the, the, the button because it's the greater good. <laughs> like in war games, the only way to win is to not play at all. That's true. Um, my God, so. So what is your answer then to the question? There's no, there's no there's, simple answer. There's no that. simple answer. No. I mean, I'm with you about the disease thing, but I'm really skeptical about everything. So I would wait to see what happens with people. I mean, it's not like we have a lot of time for waiting because when they do the first perfect people or modified well, people. Well, here's the thing, like, and the creator of, of this technology, one of the creators, 
she gave a t TED talk last last year, and she said ten years from now we'll probably have this capability open to people. So ten years from now I'll be forty four, forty five. So I'm not gonna have kids by then. <laughs> you know, I'm not gonna be having kids of age. You know, you know, it's not like that. Don't worry but, about it. They're gonna be modified. I know, I know. Eight but, years, they're gonna be taking care of you. But somebody else will, like my my brother and my sister, are gonna have this capability most likely at, yeah. at, at some point. Um, so <laughs> this is what this is. So this is this is what I'm thinking because somebody close to us will eventually have this capability. We're gonna be in that conversation. <laughs> well, and, and we're not gonna have the decision ourselves unless we we give out ourselves. And then find somebody to act as the, as the you know the carrier for that, right? <laughs> uh, but we'll we'll not we'll we will not be in that situation, but somebody close to us will. <laughs> we'll, My daughter could be. Yeah, actually. yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Most likely. <laughs> and that's that's why it's so like, like Jesus Christ, because we can make yeah, we we can talk about this like like make believe. Mm -hmm. Right, but we'll never be in that situation. Most like we'll never be in it. People close, people close to us will. <laughs> um, so we have an opportunity to influence that. <laughs> you know, for me, for me, there's no simple answer. I mean, the whole disease thing, yes, do that. Um, the other stuff is very like, like I would let I would let that go. I mean, I don't know, like like. Like, like if it, like the tomorrow they say, I have this capability, you want to be a beta tester for this shit? <laughs> like I'd say, okay, sh I, I'd, I'd probably say, yes, you're myself, but find a carrier who I don't, I don't know, have anything to do with. I don't want to know, like, I'd rather be anonymous. You know what I mean? <laughs> Cause that's like a test, like a beta test. It's yeah. like an experiment. <laughs> yeah. I like to know what happened, what's going on, but but I don't want it to be my son and raise but him and all that stuff. Leave me in the dark. <laughs> I don't know. I, I I mean that's that's my first thought. Like it'd be very, very hard to me to do shit. Like <laughs> you know, because doing it that way, I don't know. And and I know there's in vitro fertilization and all that stuff. But like I don't know how those people feel when they just, you know, give up give out that stuff and, and then you know the baby creates itself without having the intimacy part. Like I like I don't know how that work for me. Like psychologically, I can't imagine myself doing that. I'd rather have intimacy with somebody and and you know have that like oh it's coming like it's gonna happen and seeing like the value and that stuff. That's cool. <laughs> it's like organic, but the other the other way it's organic. like like the other way it's kind of like God damn, it's too. Would you like your baby organic? Like too cold, like cold, like <laughs> like really that that my son or my my my, my daughter shit. <laughs> Did, did, are you does, sure you didn't mix them up? It, yeah. With does all it, the other doesn't tubes? feel right, man. Like, it doesn't feel right to, to do it that way. <laughs> so that's why I kinda, that's how I feel like if I had that offer in the table right now and they say, look, do you want to be a beta tester? That's what I, how I would do it. Like, leave me out there, like, in the dark. Just let me know what's going on, but don't. <laughs> wow, that's so crazy. <laughs> no, it, it, I mean, it's going to happen, man. I mean, it's going to fucking happen. I mean, uh, scientists are not gonna are not gonna fool around with themselves. It's gonna be somebody on the outside crazy enough to try it, and say, be the first one who says, "Oh, I want to be the first parent of a modified baby." <laughs> <laughs> then what the f? Like that person's gonna be famous for the wrong reasons. <laughs> yeah. And the kid is gonna be famous for the wrong reasons too. Yeah, and that's gonna affect the outcome. Yeah. So it's gotta be done privately. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine that. Imagine a smart kid, charismatic kid, in the spotlight since day one. Yep. It's gonna blow Kim Kardashian out of the water. <laughs> um. Well, I don't know. I, I I think that's 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 pretty much the discussion. Yeah, um, I mean, I don't think it for me and for you. It's not like a yes or no answer. You but, gotta think about it. You got. Yeah. I would see what happens with someone else. Yeah. See if they're not drawbacks. See if uh, oh, you Rejections know Rejections and whatnot. Yeah, the kid was doing all right, but when he got to twelve, his IQ went down by a thousand, and now it's negative five hundred. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. There's stuff that we don't know exist. Will a lot happen. Of stuff can happen. Yeah. It's like, oh, my, my kid was doing all right. Oh, he's not growing. 
and he's 25 and he he's like two feet and no he's not a midget <laughs> i mean you know it's like i don't know or maybe he grows too much or he's like 15 years old and he's like eight feet or something yeah. i don't know they're, they're gonna be like oh we could use this technology to create basketball players yeah. really tall basketball players and then it's gonna be like oh we're creating nine foot basketball players so we gotta raise the the, the hoops we gotta change the sport it's just, just don't fucking mess with it. <laughs> <laughs> um, well i mean i think that's you know that's it um but you know for, for you for you guys listening what's what do you have to say about this? Like, if you're put in a situation right now where you can, you know, <laughs> modify your own point child, would you do it? <laughs> would you go all the way? Would you do it? What, what would reason? you modify? Yeah, what reasons? <laughs> yeah, and for what reasons? Um, <laughs> My baby's smarter than yours. Prove it. Because this is, this is going to be an ongoing discussion for quite a while. Believe that. <laughs> oh, man, I'm, I'm just... It's it yeah I know you're right but it's something that I'd rather be discussing something else yeah than, than this. that yeah than that <laughs> yeah um, like flying cars or something like that. <laughs> instead of flying babies <laughs> yeah exactly I'm more I'm more uh, excited about flying cars than flying babies <laughs> all right all right guys well hey wait what if what you modify a baby to be a brilliant scientist and he invents the flying car well <laughs> like I, a cheat code you i know? think like, we'll see flying cars before we see the, the baby <laughs> like a like a cheat you know like like well we don't have the technology right now but we can create a kid who will eventually be so smart he will develop the technology <laughs> or, or or how about this scientists creating a team of 100 perfect babies so they can develop time travel. <laughs> I mean, wh why not? <laughs> They're gonna be like really, really, really smart. And then when they develop more uh, smarter babies, that whole team's gonna be like, okay, destroy that team. I mean, team. The, the whole thing about smart, I think is, is a big assumption because smart depends on a lot of factors. Um, it's not, uh, unless, unless somebody, you know, Gives me a call after hearing this and tells me otherwise, <laughs> but I've, I've I've I don't I don't think it's a factor of just um, oh modify this gene and this guy's gonna be a mathematician. <laughs> I mean, and, you know, I'm I'm just going by my RPG knowledge, <laughs> and the more intel int intelligence you have, the more mana you get. The more mana. The more mana you have, and the more <laughs> and the more you uh, mana regen you have per second. So I'm just thinking about it like that, like you. Okay, so I'm I'm actually thinking about it about a screen and and a scientist is going like, okay, so uh, how much how much intellect do you want to put on there? Yeah, from how one many coins to, do you have? to 100. How many coins do you have? <laughs> how, many, <laughs> how many points on intelligence? How many on charisma? How many? Uh, you want to get to Einstein level? You need fifty thousand coins. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so if you want one hundred intelligence. Well, you won't be able to be charismatic and you won't be able to be strong. So, is that okay? Yeah, perfect. <laughs> so, they're going to, like, breed this 100 intelligent babies. <laughs> like, maxed out to, to intelligence and they're going to be, like, super smart and all that shit. And, yeah. They're going to take away all NASA's <laughs> jobs and stuff like that. Cure everything faster. <laughs> but they will, have, they will have no social skills at all. Do they need them? Yeah. Everybody knows needs social skills. They're going to socialize uh, amongst them. <laughs> they're going to be in a lab all day because that's their purpose. To create, to advance science so they can make... They're gonna, their purpose is going to be advanced science so they can make their own replacements. <laughs> that's sad. All right, we're, we're out of time, man. <laughs> time to go. All right, so we'll talk to you guys next week. Have a good one. Bye.